So today, YouTube, Parcel Force have just arrived. Let's see what's inside of here. I've been buying. And uh, yeah, let's, let's open it together. Hello, YouTube. So let's open this. Hope everyone's doing well on the channel. And um, keeping good. Let's keep going. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed over the years. Right, here we go. We're getting there. We will get there, we will get there, won't we? We will get there, won't we? I bet you're wondering what this thing is. <laughs> I have an idea. But I like to keep surprises. It's well packed, given that. Yeah, we're there. We're there, YouTube, we're there. Got it. So, I don't know if you can see. In fact, what I'll do, I'll bring the camera down and put the amp down. It, it's a guitar amp. So, YouTube, let's take this casing off it. It comes with the case which is good because it protects it when you're touring or gigging with it. So this case just lifts up. There we go. Right, here we go. So this is the back of the amp. Um, so what we've got here is your power lead there. And you've got MIDI. Then you've got uh another connection i mean comment below if you know what that is uh this is new to me um a foot switch return send effects loop uh the uh direct out so to another cab or whatever uh yeah and there's a few other connections there so this is a line 6 dt25 a valve amp uh, let me show you the front so this is the front of the guitar amp so yeah it's a line 6 dt25 so it's a 25 watt tube or you know uh tube amp it's got tubes in it um but it has this sort of technology here, which um, gives you different tones as well. So it gives you four sort of uh, amps. 
But yeah, it, it does sound good, uh, these amps, because they are valve. And um, I do think there's a difference, you know, between a valve amp and a good solid state amp. I mean, this, there is some good amps about, but nothing can beat real tubes, I personally think. Um, but this is good because it's 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 you know got it's got different amps you know in sort of one amp you know you've you don't need to go and get different amps so this is another reason why I wanted this amp and um, I've actually had the 50 watt one which is uh, bigger than this um, 50 watt but it's so so heavy and it's just ridiculous how powerful it is i mean it's an overkill uh for some of the events i do i mean i've got 120 watt orange um as everybody knows so i wanted something where i can practice at home and then also take on the road and it'd be able to keep up with that as well uh, but of something which is not ridiculously heavy and this is not too bad in weight it's not too heavy actually which is good i mean it has got some weight but it's not ridiculous you know it's not um fender basement weight you know where it's really really heavy so yeah uh, so yeah you got look four different amps you know so there's lots of things um yeah dt25 so yeah should we just plug it in and just see how it sounds and just make sure it works because um i bought this used because you can't buy this amp anymore but um, it's not too old. Uh, these amps came out, I think, I can't remember when they came out, but they're not, they're not too old. Um, but yeah, let's see how it sounds. So YouTube, I've been so excited. I've actually just played it off camera a little bit. But one thing I have learned um, with valve amps and tube amps is you need to uh, run them um, up to a good volume to get the best sound out of them. So what I have learned at the back of this, uh, um, if you have a look, there is uh, a switch at the back. It says there, low volume mode. So when is when that is on, it basically, halves the uh halves the watt of the amp so it's not ridiculously loud um so it's ideal for home or whatever situation um so yeah, it's not too loud for home so that is on at the moment as you can see the switch is on and also if you look at the manual on the actually on the amp it says they're low volume mode it when it's engaged, you'll see the text below the master light up, which it has lit, lit up, there you go. And that does go out when it's in full power mode, when it's 25 watts valve sound. These are the amps. This is the switch, which you go from, which amp you want to go on, you know, so, these are the sounds you can get, you know, classic American Clean, which is, it's a Fender Twin sound. Then your second amp is a British Crunch, which is a Marshall Plexi, uh, basically. And then this one, classic, uh, a class, a chime, is basically a Vox AC30. And then this one is a, uh, a really high gained amp. Uh, it's the Meshaboogie thing. Is that what they're called? It's not the type of amp I probably have for the type of sound I go for, but it's a real heavy uh, tone. So, and this switch does that. So you've got number one is Fender Twin. Number two is Marshall Plexi. Number three, is AC30. Number four, amp four, is basically 
the high gain uh, Mesa Boogie thing. So yeah, there we go. Let's plug it in, let's see how it sounds. As you can see, I've turned the reverb knobs off and I've left everything generally at 12 o'clock. I will probably turn the volume down if it's too loud still, but it's in the, the low volume mode. And uh, yeah, we're, I'm not gonna play it with the reverb on. I'm just gonna let you hear the four uh, different amp sounds with this uh, tube amp and then uh, leave the video there. So I'm using a, a 1987 uh, Fender uh, Squire Strat uh, Bullet one. So, which is one of my favorite guitars. So yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it pretty basic. It's on B there, it's on class A there. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's other things to play with with this amp, but I'm not gonna get into that today. But um, the reverb, um, just a quick guess, would be spring, and it does sound good. Line six, uh, valve amps, spring reverb, it's very, very good. Um, because I say it's spring because most of the amps which uh, would come um, with reverb would be spring. I mean the Fender and stuff and the, the Marshall. So yeah, let's let's go for it. Let's uh, hear it. Right, I've got the Squire plugged in. This is the Fender Twin sound. No reverb. Neck pickup. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the next, the next amp, which is a Marshall Plexi. What a great sound. That sounds great, but it would sound even better if I could turn it up a bit. I can't because it would just distort the video. Um, but yeah, the amp's on really low, to be honest. Um, but yeah, next uh, next uh, sound is the Vox AC30 sort of type of vibe. So here we go. Sound, the glassy sort of sound you get. So with this type of amp, I've had to adjust the knobs a little bit because you have to set it up for that type of sound. Um, so I've had to bring the presence up a little bit more and bring the treble up a little bit more because it's quite a bassy amp, uh, the Mesa Boogie amp. So yeah, we've got... <laughs>
great sound. It just sounds great. Um, if you want that high gain uh, rock tone, rock metal tone. Um, yeah, this, this amp is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. An underrated gem, 100%. It, it's not as heavy as I thought it would be for a, a tube amp. I've had the DT50 and that was ridiculously heavy. It was so heavy, it was just unbelievable. It was just too heavy for a guy who's got a bad back like myself. So um, I still love the tone though and this is why I bought the amp in the first place. This is why I bought this amp because I wanted something where it's good for practicing at home but also good for the gigs I do, I do which are mainly pub gigs and, and you know, with. Uh, music venues, um, you know, uh, around the country, but it's mainly pubs, uh, and some of them are really small pubs, but to keep up with a drummer, you need something which is at least 20 watt valve uh, onwards. So this is perfect. It fits everything. You've got the low um, uh, wattage uh, mode, uh, brings the, um, the watts down, so the, the volume level's lower. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, the reverb is good, but you can hear it in another video or something like that. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. The amp is great. It's fantastic. Um, I bought it off, um, um, uh, you know, I bought the amp used and I was obviously told that um, the valves are in great condition and everything works and it does. So. Yeah, thanks to that seller uh, for selling me a really good amp and uh, being very honest as well. So, yeah, thank you very much.